Uh, Bangladesh is uh, unique. We are on a major floodplain of the Ganges and also the Brahmaputra, which drains both the north and the south side of the Himalayas. And this floodplain supports more people and more animals than any other place on Earth. It's a remarkably productive land. But that also means that it's remarkably productive at producing new pathogens. On top of that, we are accelerating the potential for emerging diseases through the continued population growth and rapid economic growth. And what we see on farms is that in order to support this kind of production, we're seeing a, a remarkable level of usage of a wide variety of antibiotics, including antibiotics that are, are critically important for humans. AMR is a bacteria fighting back against us. So anytime we use an antibiotic, bacteria learn. You know, and there's uh, billions of them. And the more pressure that we put on them with antibiotics, then the more rapidly their resistance will develop. So it's an issue of quantity. I think uh, globally we've recognized now that uh, we have reached that turning point. Uh, that we are at the phase where antibiotics are no longer working to control uh, infections uh, that we need to stop. The issue is that farmers are under a tremendous pressure to produce and they fundamentally don't appreciate many times what the risks are of the products that they're using. They don't re realize the risks of that product to their families, to themselves, and obviously to the wider community. So in producing that poultry, we're now having to rely on higher and higher levels of antibiotics. On one side, because the farms themselves are not very biosecure, we don't have a lot of space, there's weak um, support for them at the local level. These farmers are often working poor. But on the other hand, we see that the drug manufacturers have seen an opportunity. The drug industry has been very creative in responding to the legislation. The legislation was very clear uh, and robust in banning all antibiotic usage in feed. Unfortunately, it didn't address at all the use of antibiotics in drinking water. So what we've seen now is, is a, a growth and a diversification of products for use in drinking water, often for the same purposes as we would use in feed to promote growth. It's not a, always an issue of, uh, of, the, of the farmer requiring them. She's being advised to use them. But ultimately what we see is that it's not the fault of the people who are here. These people are doing a task that no one recognizes and making sure that we get the food that we want every day. And it's our job now to shed light on their situation, on their challenges, so that we can better support them. So that challenge then is how do we come up with a solution that doesn't compromise our food security uh, while also protecting our public health. And within FAO we're very fortunate uh, to be able to have a range of expertise in these areas and working together with uh, our counterparts in WHO and OIE we're able to then work on these One Health solutions that benefit everyone. The Bangladesh Antimicrobial Resistance Alliance is a great example of where a country is really working to address antimicrobial resistance. Currently, we have the veterinarians coming together with the medical doctors to work together to develop guidelines for their respective sectors on how to better and more effectively use antimicrobials and thereby protect this important resource for the future. This is a unique idea actually, that's to form this kind of forum shared by all human and animal health individuals who are involved in research, who are involved in providing care, who are academicians. This alliance may play a significant role in containment of antimicrobial resistance in Bangladesh. Change is not simply a matter of saying no more antimicrobial use is growth promoter. We have to put our money where our mouth is and actually invest in these countries in enabling to make the necessary change to reduce use of antimicrobials as growth promoters. There is no one that can escape the challenge of AMR. 
we don't have a privileged class that will be able to access antibiotics that no one else can access. You have a resistant infection, it's untreatable regardless of how rich you are. So our strategy is very clear, Shobai by Bon. We're all brothers and sisters, uh, and if we start to uh, serve each other more, we can start to come up with better solutions that'll serve all of humanity for the generations to come.